Now to the Trump presidency. President Trump heads to Texas today for fundraisers and to speak to supporters. The trip comes as his administration is laying out details of a new strategy on immigration. CBS 4's Natalie Brand has the latest from the White House. President Trump called on lawmakers to help change immigration laws as he left the White House for Texas this morning. The whole asylum rules, laws and regulations have been taken advantage of by people that are very bad people in many cases. It's very important that the Democrats in Congress change these loopholes. As part of a new, tougher strategy on immigration, a senior administration official says the president wants the right to detain migrant children for longer and make it harder for asylum seekers to get work permits. The changes could face court challenges. What in the world is next with this Trump administration? They have a failed immigration policy and they've decided getting tougher is the answer. They're wrong. A new government figures show in March more than 103,000 people were apprehended or denied entry at the U.S.-Mexico border. More than 92,000 were stopped between ports of entry. White House advisor Stephen Miller has emerged as the administration's point person on immigration matters. The president praised him this morning but also made clear who is in charge of immigration policy. There's only one person that's running it. You know who that is? It's me. But some Democratic lawmakers are concerned about Miller's hardline stances. Stephen Miller, who is not confirmed by the Senate, um, strikes me as having a truly extreme view of immigration in the United States. And my concern is that we will soon be back to a family separation policy. The president says he is not considering reinstating the controversial policy on separating families at the southern border. But sources tell CBS News Miller is reviewing all options. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. Today is the last day for Department of Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen. Customs Border Patrol Commissioner Kevin McAleenan will be sworn in as acting secretary.